I'm Coach Clarissa, and today we're going to do a quick leg program. Actually, it's not quick. It should take you about an hour. I know it's only four exercises, but we want to really be challenging ourselves on each and every lift so that we are working towards progressive overload, which is going to give us that nice toned body that we're trying so hard to get. So starting out, uh, we're going to use a hack squat. Um, for this demonstration, I've used bands with the hack squat, not the band you put around your, your legs, but an actual band on the unit itself. Now that helps to take some of the load off in the bottom of the squat, making it easier to go back up to the top. But as you're going down in the squat, it is going to add more resistance. So you can try it banded, see if you like it. If you do, I love that feedback. If you hate it, you know, I'd also love that feedback. Um, half squat, this is a very strong movement where we're looking for eight to 15 repetitions here and three to five sets, depending on what your goal is. You want to make each set very challenging so that you're getting the most out of the exercise. You should feel the hack squat um, with the foot position I have here, you should feel it pretty evenly distributed on the whole leg. So quad, hamstring, and glute, a little bit of calf, core is tight. You should feel nothing in your back. Your back needs to stay pressed against the pad the whole time. So um, if you're feeling any pain with that, you need to assess your form because a hack squat should not hurt at all. This is the hack squat and we're using a stance where we're a little bit more quad focused, but you're still also hitting some hamstrings and some adductors. So feet are just right underneath the hips, toes are pointed slightly out. We're about mid foot placement on the foot plate. So with the hack squat, we wanna inhale at the top, hold and then exhale about midway on the way back up. So we're essentially just doing a squat here um, the load on this particular machine is up higher, so the weight is distributed across both shoulders. With our feet, we really want to make sure we're pressing through that whole foot, so keeping the feet very firmly planted into the foot plate, pushing through both heel, toes, um, big toe, pinky toe, to come back up. You're really using that exhale on the way back up in order to make it back up. So right there, we're exhaling to help drive us up all of the way. On the way up, we're not locking the knees when we come to the top, they're still soft. That's going to help us prevent an injury. And as we lower, we're really making sure that we have that big breath in to help protect the spine and help us generate more force. So this exercise should be pretty challenging from there, we move to uh, Bulgarian split squats, one of my favorite exercises with dumbbells. Uh, for this particular exercise, we want to use a lot of core and you're using a lot of stability. So this is going to work your quad, it's going to work your hamstring, it's going to work your glute, it's going to work your core. And because you are keeping the waist down by your sides, it's also be going to be working the stabilization muscles. So serratus anterior, a little bit of lat to keep those dumbbells by your sides. Uh, with the split squat, we're looking for anywhere again, eight to 15 repetitions per leg, depending on where you are with your level of fitness. This is a Bulgarian split squat. We're using dumbbells. So we put our back foot up on a bench and we're going to put our other foot at about a leg's distance from that bench. That's going to be our working leg. Here we're bending the knee to lower and then we press through that whole foot to come back up. So our back leg is not working. We shouldn't feel anything on that back leg at all. It's just there for a little bit of support and stability. That working leg with this particular position, we should feel a little more quad and a little more medial glute. Okay, so we're going to inhale at the top and then exhale as we come back up. It's a lot of quad and we want to, since it's single leg, really, really focus on the balance here. So if our foot is firmly pressed into the ground, heel, big toe, pinky toe, um, we're going to be a lot more stable than if we're sliding around on our foot. From there, we'll move to good morning. Good morning is a hamstring exercise. So same movement as a, as a deadlift. You should feel this only in hamstrings and glutes and core nowhere else. So just like a deadlift, you don't want to feel it in your back. It is a leg exercise. 
Uh, good mornings. You're working anywhere again between 8 and 15 repetitions, depending on where you're at with your level of fitness. So this is a barbell good morning. With this, we want to have our feet directly on our hips and we're going to be targeting hamstrings and a little bit of glutes. You're gonna hinge forwards just like you would as if you were doing a deadlift. So the hips go back, the knees are soft. They're gonna bend a little bit, like we don't want straight legs on this exercise. You do wanna bend the knees so that you do feel in the hamstrings. And you wanna keep your core really, really tight to protect your back. You should not feel this exercise in your lower back at all. It should be completely glute and hamstring driven. So you want to inhale at the top of the exercise. So here, inhale hold it and then we're going to exhale right there so as you can see the movement's very slow it's very controlled we're really really focusing on that glute contraction you should feel this in the entire glute and also in the hamstrings and that is your barbell good morning and then finally, we're gonna finish off with leg extensions. Leg extensions work the quad. With this exercise, what I see a lot is people use a lot of momentum. We want very slow, very controlled movement here. So we are lengthening the quad to load it, and then we're contracting the quad. So we are really controlling that motion on the way in and on the way out. We are not bouncing our ass up and down in the seat to get that momentum going. You are going to grip those side handles to keep you firmly planted in the chair. And you're going to think about making that nice, slow, controlled movement of bending the knee and then extending the knee by flexing the quad. Leg extensions, you can work 10 reps, you can work 20 reps. Um, we want that movement to be challenging, but we want it to be slow and controlled. This is a leg extension machine. So it's gonna be working the quads, the muscle on the top of the legs. You want the pad over the ankles. You want to use those handles by the sides to keep your hips down. We are not rocking the hips or using any type of momentum. So we're bringing the weight in and then we're bringing, pushing the weight out. So all we're doing is bending and extending the knees by contracting the muscles on the top of the thigh, the quads. The movement is very slow, it is in controlled and like i said we're not using leverage or momentum or bouncing to move the weight at all so you really want to slow it down so that we can feel the load on the quad and then you're going to press it up and contract the quad it should feel very challenging and that's our leg workout for today. Let me know if you did the workout. I would love to know if you liked it. Love to know if you hated it. Um, keep me posted on your progress and be sure to like and subscribe so that you can continue to get our weekly workout videos.